reading for November 27th, entitled, Seek the Lord. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. My dear young friend, I have felt an interest in you similar to the yearning desire a mother feels for her child. Will you let me be your friend? Gladly would I help you to help yourself to become an honorable, trustworthy man. You need a friend that will help you at all times, and I point you to Jesus as your friend and helper. I do not ask how far you separated your soul from God in the days of your temptation. I do not seek to draw aside the curtain that conceals the past. But some things which have been opened before me in your past history have made me feel an intense desire to preserve you from companionship that would not be a help to you, that would not lift you up, but would drag you down. Your only safety is in making a decided movement in the right direction. I cannot choose for you. If I could, gladly would I do it. You have kept yourself aloof from Christ for a long time, and yet probation has been granted you. You have had light and opportunities to know what is truth. It rests with you to decide whether you will choose the service of Satan or the service of him who gave his life for you. In your younger days you had conscientious convictions, but your associations were not properly chosen, and in following your own lead you have brought danger and suffering upon yourself. You will carry the marks as long as life shall last. If an angel of God had not, in answer to the many prayers sent up to heaven in your behalf, stood by your side at the time of the accident, your life would have ended then and there. But the Lord said, I will spare him for another trial. We sometimes blunder, but if we see and confess our errors, God is just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Our failures should not discourage us, but should be turned into victories. It is your privilege to choose this day whom you will serve. You have within your reach more than finite possibilities. If you link yourself with God, turning to Him with full decision of soul, He will accept the prodigal. Make your decision for time and for eternity. Let not any human agent cheat you out of your soul. No one can pay a ransom for your soul. Jesus has done that. Will you be indifferent to such love? Again I say, come. Jesus invites you. All heaven says, come. Taken from letter 33, dated November 27, 1896, to a young Adventist in Australia.